ever noticed how there is so much House of CB on the market up for resale? Have you wondered why your item is just taking so long to sell and yet you paid almost £200 for it? And everyone knows House of CB's stuff is great, it's good quality. Why is it not selling? Why is it just there on Depop, on Vinted, on Facebook and no one seems to be grabbing it? I have put together some possible reasons and ways to avoid it. That's the key. That's the essence of this video. You don't want to be one of those people trying to sell a House of CB item and no one is buying or you just have to advertise it at a very ridiculous price, right? So I've put together reasons first and I'm going to share with you the reasons first and then I'm going to share with you how to avoid being in this situation. I can see from the unboxings, from the try-ons, from the ASMR videos I've done, House of CB is quite popular and rightfully so. But obviously we've all come to know how wonderful House of CB is and we all flock to get stuff from them but the challenge is because they're so popular once you've worn it once people have a hard time wearing it again or finding a purpose to wear a place a purpose for the garment again basically and they often just look to resell it to get rid of it and give it to somebody else who will appreciate it who needs it basically so their clothes their dresses their cords have sort of become one-time wears i think the main reason is because they're very statementy although you would think quality should withstand it should just hold value because of the quality the branding but for whatever reason house of cb doesn't because it's at that price range that many can afford and so many have so there's no exclusivity to a uh, house of cb to be honest that's not a good thing or a bad thing it's just what it is right and so you find that because the items on top of that fact are quite statementy once you've worn it once your mind has a hard time figuring out where else to wear it what else to do with it and i'm talking about the statement pieces emphasis on the statement pieces usually that's their dresses and because they're so bright or they're so bold or they're cut quite uniquely they're quite obvious that this is a house house of cb item now i have made a lot of videos on how to shop smart i have a shop smart series on my channel so make sure you check that out because it kind of ties into this brand it's a it's sort of a lifestyle really it's an approach it's a mentality towards your wardrobe that you need to have so you don't find yourself in the situation as a buyer or as a seller wanting to sell on depop to pass on the garment to somebody else the house now how to avoid all of this when i'm looking in house of cb i say i have an event okay or i'm trying to shop for somebody um for an event okay i would rather buy the two pieces or their skirt or their top instead of a one piece a dress a jumpsuit i'm weary as well of their coats because they're kind of the same thing so anything that comes as a final piece as one and you wear it as it is i typically would advise to avoid because as a buyer there's very little you're going to be able to do once you've worn it uh once you're gonna kind of have to think of either you if you go out a lot or you need to pass it down or you can just you're happy you're okay with it just being in your wardrobe until you're ready to wear it again that's fine but the majority of people the ones i'm speaking to are those who want to sell it or don't have anything to do with this dress anymore they don't want it i would really advise try to not buy dresses maybe go for a skirt and a top because there's many things many occasions many other things you can do with a skirt and and a top separate it put it together put it with other things you already have now with a dress you can be super creative and i've mentioned this before in many other videos you can mix and match it cover the top cover the bottom at the same time uh, in different outfits maybe you put a blazer you put a jumper or the bottom you cover it with another kind of skirt or whatever right um so you can just achieve different looks you can do that but it's easier to achieve the same when you buy different pieces cords or a skirt and a top that are not necessarily intended to be together the other option on how to avoid you being in a situation where you have this dress many of them sometimes if you're always going to house to cb or you want to sell it and it's not selling i would advise 
before you buy something new maybe check out the second hand options some people have dresses that still have the ribbon on yes they haven't even worn it so it's still new i know most times we react to you know new releases new arrivals and we fall in love and want to buy it now 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 that kind of ties into having a little bit more uh self-control in not impulse buying because it has many issues <laughs> that it comes along with but um, if you're not impulse buying you do have so many more options you can first start at looking at buying secondhand of course the challenge with secondhand is if you don't like it it's difficult to return it makes you think about what you really want before you buy and that's what you're supposed to be doing anyway do you really need this will you really like it will you be able to keep it for the long term i personally I'm of the opinion that a second-hand house of CB will probably return you more than a brand new house of CB because there's so many on the market if I'm not trying to sell a house of CB that I bought as a bargain or a second-hand and it's still good I've only worn it once that garment is still in immaculate condition if I now resell it I'm also selling it at a quite um, my my margin or my markup will be quite better than the person who bought it from you second from last on my list if you are trying to resell i know this doesn't sound good or fun or exciting but consider selling at a more competitive price because yeah otherwise you're just going to be it's just going to be there and if you are listing the item make sure you are aware of the best ways to sell quickly on whatever platform you are on relisting refreshing and making sure you get the visibility that you need to increase the chances of you selling that item but my point here is mainly make sure you have obviously you're not trying to recoup 80 percent of the money that you spent buying it new it's gonna be very hard to find somebody willing to pay that much and yet um all the benefits of buying a brand new one are, are not there anymore by purchasing a second hand one the last on my list is basically consider renting out an item before you buy a new one and also consider renting out the garment that you have from house of cb on platforms many many platforms now allow peer-to-peer -peer lending in clothes and um, you can list the garment you have so somebody else can rent it from you or if you're looking to buy something consider renting it for the occasion does that make sense very doable right it's amazing how the market has changed to giving you power to list the quirky amazing brands great quality uh, no longer available pieces in your wardrobe you can list it and rent it out to other people and that's another stream of income why not you don't necessarily have to wear it yourself as well if you don't want you can have a part of your wardrobe that you dedicate to just renting out its income somebody wears it they finish they send it back when they bring it back you inspect it and you wash it and you relist it's that simple it's easy money on something that you probably wouldn't wear again so and you're playing your part in a very unique way to being more sustainable i hope that's been helpful if you like this sort of content give me a like give me a share please because it really does help my videos to just get more suggestions and to reach more people and of course if you would like to see something quite specific or if you have an idea that builds on to this idea comment below reach out to me i would love to communicate with you guys to know where you're at and to put out more helpful useful content for you otherwise i'll see you in my next video and that will be next week sunday uk time